right, so one problem I was having was when I hit the horn, it didn't work. Uh, it didn't work. It works sometimes, but not all the time. And uh, so what I was trying to figure out is uh, what's going on and learned a whole lot about a, an air horn in this. So what I first thought was that it was it was this, that maybe the, the button inside, it wasn't making good contact. So uh, I took the button out, took it all apart, looked at it, everything looked fine. When I put it back together, I noticed that when I was pressing the button, I could hear a click down uh, right here towards the, towards the front of the firewall. And I guess if I had thought about it, uh, I would have known that if I was hearing a click over here when I hit the button, then the button was just fine. And so what that click was is actually the solenoid. And what I was figuring out was that when this is making uh, contact and it is completing the circuit, the solenoid wasn't opening to let air from the, uh, from the air chambers here, uh, from the compressor, to the air. And that's what the problem was. And so uh, what I had to do was actually put this all back together because this was right and then actually go up underneath the uh, up underneath the, the hood and get to work there. Okay, so the thing that we have to do is is check the solenoid. Now you can see here, here's the front of the discovery. We're going to go down here and right there is the hood access. So we're going to come in here and we're going to lower the hood. And we're going to look inside here. So what you'll see is that right here is the solenoid for the horn. Now you can see the horn, uh, the horn down there. Um, here's the solenoid for the horn. You can see that air comes in and out through the bottom or through the top and the side. And on the bottom of the solenoid, there's kind of like a little cap. It's almost like a like the bowl of a carburetor. And there's a little screw on the bottom. You'll also see there's a screw here and a screw here. This screw here is for the grounding wire for the solenoid and this screw here is the, re is the screw that holds the retaining clip that actually holds it. So to remove this what I did was I, remo I removed both of these screws and I roughed up that and made sure there was a good connection, metal to metal connection there. And then here I actually took the solenoid out and I took that screw out and took this little cup off and inside of it there was some rust inside of the solenoid so I sprayed some deep creep in there and uh, cleaned it off real good, cleaned the inside of that, put it all back together, and now when I hit the horn, uh, when I hit the horn button, it immediately activates. Uh, the nice thing about this solenoid here is that if your solenoid does go bad, these things are on Amazon for 10 bucks. So just for a, for a quick, easy fix on the air horn here, that is exactly what we did. It was easy to get to. It's right here in the front. Uh, so that's, that's how we fix that. So, uh, you guys, I uh, hope that this has helped you. hope that you are able to get out and get some camping done. And uh, make sure that you make it to church on Sunday.